I'm gonna teach you how to make your own game. After this video, you'll be a pro. Lesson 1. Your game idea probably needs more thought. See this map? It's a roadmap of how to become a game developer. But before we can even go to the first stop, you need to understand where you are now. You are thinking of climbing a mountain without knowing how to walk. Probably I don't know you, so maybe this doesn't apply to you. But if you are a beginner, you have to let go of your game idea for now. It could be amazing, perfect, revolutionary even, but you simply cannot tell yet. I'm not saying any of this despite you. I'm saying it because I'm never gonna serve you bullshit. Think of a simple game made by a solo developer. If you said Undertale, I'm sorry to break this to you, but that game took three years to make with $50,000 of crowdfunding and the main artist is not even Toby Fox. Stop thinking about making a game to show people or revolutionize. That's a mountain. Let's focus on the first few steps. Lesson 2. The game engine doesn't matter. Alright, first stop of the map. Choosing a game engine. Don't stay here long. Just stop wasting your time picking the best game engine. That doesn't exist. Use whatever makes sense for you. If you don't like coding, you're gonna have to use GDevelop or maybe even Unreal. If you want full flexibility and don't want to worry about money, Godot is the way to go. Unity also exists and works. Look, they all work. What really matters is can you make your game on it? Does it have solid tutorials and documentation? That's it. You'll probably end up learning more than one engine anyway. Once you understand one game engine and understand game development itself, it becomes really easy to switch tools. Any one of these is gonna feel uncomfortable at first. That's how you know you are learning something new and growing. Lesson 3. You can't escape programming. Now, you can make a game with visual scripting, of course. Many successful games like Five Nights at Freddy's used visual scripting. The thing is, that is still programming. You're gonna have to learn a completely new mode of thinking. Thinking like a machine. Your job will be to break down a game mechanic into simple computational steps. To think like a computer, you will have to practice. And practice a lot. Which brings us to our next stop. Brilliant. Brilliant is a platform where you learn every day interactively. Thus, it is the best way to make your brain think like a computer. With thousands of lessons on programming, math, science, data analysis, AI, all you can think of really. Brilliant is uniquely effective because you are hands-on problem solving each lesson. There is nothing more important in game development. Plus, you can do it daily at your own pace and even on the go with the mobile app. You will learn to design and debug real programs. You're gonna start using Python day one to try everything brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days and also get 20% off an annual plan visit brilliant.org slash freddy or scan the qr code on the screen thank you brilliant for sponsoring today's video lesson four always go in with a plan opening a game engine without a plan feels like entering a maze blindfolded you're gonna panic one day you'll feel comfortable messing around with projects just having random fun trying new things avoid that for now have a small concrete goal before launching your engine you want to make the player move today you want to make a life bar system you want to fix a bug from last time i always use trello in my projects to break down a game development cycle into very small manageable chunks and i always look at the trello board before opening a game engine but what should your first project even be make a clone of the simplest game you can think of that would still be kind of fun to make. It could be something like Pong, Flappy Bird, or a top-down shooter. My first game was a first-person shooter, and you might say that's not simple enough. But what matters here is not being visually simple, it's being mechanically simple. Looks can be deceiving. Like I said, Undertale looks simple, but it's definitely not. Stardew Valley looks simple, and it's one of the hardest games you can try to clone. Really. Making a first person shooter was a little overwhelming, but shooting a gun at an enemy is way easier than whatever Stardew Valley is. So make three little projects like this one, three different kinds of games so you can learn different mechanics, and just experiment try out things. There's no real need to finish these projects, although keeping a habit of finishing projects is good. They're all just for learning. You shouldn't show this to anyone. You can if you want, but it's not your goal to impress anyone with these. And if you're having a hard time, watch tutorials, man. Don't let your ego control you. You can do hard things, just not in the hardest possible way, you know? Lesson 5. Avoid tutorial hell. Always. 
you will use a lot of tutorials in the beginning. It's recommended. I encouraged you to do that just now. <laughs> and tutorials are great until you get trapped in tutorial hell. At this point in the roadmap, it's time to build independence. Stop watching three hours, let's make a game together tutorial. Instead, you're gonna have to learn to search for specific targeted info, how to animate sprites in Unity, or look at the documentation for character body 3D. And you're gonna, you're gonna become best friends with Google. Your job title might as well be professional Googler, but you'll be searching simple problems. And sometimes you're gonna have to Google to acquire new knowledge. Somebody probably made a tool already that's gonna solve your problems and brute forcing your way is not ideal. The key difference here is simply using Google as a tool and relying on it for everything, not being able to do anything on your own. And with your newfound independence, it's time to build a fourth game now, this time your own idea. You can even show people and ask for feedback. It doesn't have to be a perfect game, you just have to finish it and have an amazing time showing it to your friends and getting feedback. Lesson six, the problem of solitude. I'm a big enjoyer of some alone time, but solo dev is so hard because you have to cover everything. Code, shaders, art, sound and music, game design, writing, lighting. Oh my god. If you're working alone, that's a lot. It gets really heavy. Use whatever's available to you. Online assets, communities, friends, forums, anything. Team up when you can. Go to a friend and see if they know something about art. You know, you have to be compatible. If you're a coder, you have to find an artist or a musician. Music carries so much of the experience. You can't make a game without music. And so many people dedicate their whole lives to learning music. Find a musician. If you're like me, you're probably going to ignore this point entirely and try to do everything on your own. Fail hard and then come back here to realize that it's okay to ask for help. Lesson seven, it's all about process, baby. All right, now that you know all this, you're in the last and final stop. Time to make big money, right? Launching your game on Steam, making money, getting good comments and reviews, seeing a YouTuber talk about your game. You're gonna have to let go of those things for now. Those are events, big events, and life is not about the big events. They are just consequences of all the micro choices you make moment to moment. And the moment to moment life of a game developer is about being creative, hardworking, crafty, skillful, and also joyful. <laughs> it's hard, but you can fall in love with this life. I mean, I did. Remember, you have to become a source of good games. Your goal is not to make a game that goes viral. It is to become a game developer. That makes viral games, sure. <laughs> Don't fall for the promises of easy success. The life of a game developer is not an Uber ride. It's a cross-country road trip. Pack snacks and get ready to embark on the biggest journey of your life. Well, that's your roadmap, and all you gotta do now is believe in yourself and act. It's impossible to make progress without belief. That's why I should tell you, I believe in you. You've got this. Now go make games.